Okay, so we start. Shake the wrist. Release the fingers. Move the elbows to release the wrist and the fingers. Move the shoulders to release the whole arms. Start going up onto the balls of the feet to release the shoulders, elbows, wrist, and the arms. And give yourself a moment. Inhale and exhale. Inhale through the top of the head and exhale, softening the knees, softening everything down. Inhale, and the head floats up like a balloon, upward top. Exhale, softly down, shoulders down, rib cage down, diaphragm, pelvic floor. Inhale yourself up, neck is soft but long, and keep the head floating up, and softly release the body down. Inhale, tall, tall, tall. Exhale, softly release. One more time. Inhale, tall, tall, tall. On the release, activate the feet. Let the feet pump everything and the hands are going and releasing down softly. Inhale, we're filling up the chest that would round it up on the sides as well. And the arms have the movement both forward and out, forward and out, this is important. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, softly exhaling. Inhale, exhale. Same thing, 45 degrees, torso twists, inhale. Exhale, 45 degrees, twist, and softly down. 45 degrees, twist, softly down, inhale. Inhale, soft, soft, soft. From 145, create a ball, transfer it through the center, 45, center, 45, soft, release, in. The legs participating a lot. Inhale, pumping with the legs. Inhale and settling into them for the new pump and switch at the center. Inhale, 45 degrees. And inhale, 45 degrees. Inhale, 45 degrees. Inhale, 45 degrees. Fantastic. Keep twisting. The arms are stretching forward and back. We're still breathing, but not as concentratedly. So we're going to twist and let the arms stretch and they're floating. One definitely relates to the other. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to stay in the profile. You're going to pick up the ball, twist, Release the ball, lift the ball, twist, release. You're looking one direction and the other, one direction and the other. Arms picking up and arms releasing, arms picking up and releasing, arms picking up and releasing. Start thinking and start moving. If you found it, relax into the movement before you finding the movement. Use your analytical thinking by all means. Ready to switch. We're going to go and lift up different direction and drop it down in the other direction. Lift up and release. Lift up, twist, release, lift up, twist, release, lift up, twist, release, lift up, twist, release, come back center, press down horizontal circle. We're still doing those 45 degrees, twisting of the belly. Palms are pressing down like you're pressing on something like a table in order to go up. So you have the sensation 
in the palms of something underneath and you're twisting, twisting, twisting with the palms, belly twists for the body to go 45 degrees. The arms are doing just a little bit, tiny bit of a movement. They don't, they're not stiff by all means, but your belly does much more. Twist to the different direction, press and twist. Press, twist. Press, twist. Press, twist, excellent job. Press, twist, press, twist. Inhale the arms, pushing and pulling. One is the palm, the other is also the palm, different direction. And we're going to bring them towards the center and from the center in front of your heart center. We're going to pull the bow just opens. And it's a push and pull on both sides. This is a pull, this is a push. Switch through the softness. Softly change the shape. One turns into the push, the other one pull. We're going to get into open hand and the fist. Switch in the center, softly change. Open palm into the fist, chest opens. And this is a continuous push and pull, continuous push and pull. You are in, not never in the limbo. You in continuous stretching, 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 recoiling. Stretching, 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 recoiling. Stay facing where you're facing. Stretching, 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 recoiling. Stretching, stretching, stretching with me. You're going to scrape something from the front arm. For this, you have to flip and scrape. Rib cage starts participating with a little bit of the belly twist, scrape and pull. Both arms are working, not only this one from the top, which scrapes, but also the back one. So you're scraping and rotating both of them. Scrape, rotate, and scrape, rotate. Notice how the top arm starts rounding you a little bit rounding and pulling up open and rounding and pulling up open and rounding and pulling through front and underneath the arm goes forward very nice and scrape and pull scrape and pull and scrape and pull notice how to pull you have to use your belly inhale Pull our transverse abdominis engagement and mid-mang opening in the Qigong terms. So we're going to lengthen the lower back with the power of the breathing. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, knee. Inhale, pull by grounding. Inhale, pull. Inhale, pull. Inhale, pull. Release the arms. Keep bumping the belly. The arm is released. You could even tilt a little bit to the side. This is a fantastic exercise for the shoulder hydration. Just letting the arm dangle a little bit and you moving it because you're moving the belly and the pelvis and the legs are slightly shifting. Now we're going to stir with this arm with a bigger pot. Belly twists, belly twists, belly twists. If the arm is fully relaxed, then you will get a little bit more of that circly, dangly, beautiful, uh, reflection movements, um, 
consequence of the movement of the pelvis. So if you look from the side, this is what it is. Mm -hmm. So it's just a little bit of the intention goes into the shape of the arm, but the arm is powered by the twist in the pelvis and that powered from the leg. Excellent, reverse. We're going to open. You could think about opening the curtain or the move, the other name of this move is beauty looks in the mirror and release, scoop lift, 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 release. Notice my belly moves to get the arm where I want it to be and I just want it 45, a little bit up and 45. And then from here, I want it completely release and relax out of the shoulder. I honestly don't really care about those moves. I care about for the body to gain through those moves, more relaxation. So that, uh, that phase is very important. I scoop. I teach my body how to act from that relaxation. And then I gain more relaxation. I try not to carry on that tension in the shoulder. And then when the next repetition comes, I'm trying to uh, produce the move from more relaxed state. And that indeed comes from the leg power and the belly power. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Inhale, exhale. So we're going to scrape and pull again. Scrape and pull, scrape and pull, and pull, and pull, and pull, and, pull. and release forward. Pull and go over, pull and go over. Pull and go over. Pull stronger open the underneath of the armpit and the side of the rib cage. Beautiful job. Pull and scrape and pull and dangle the arm down. Let it just dangle and rotate. Now already start moving the pelvis. Mm -hmm. Start moving the pelvis with that released arm. All good. And we're going to start rounding the arm just a little bit. It's still the pelvis, which makes the move. Beware of those shifts. We're just doing the twist, just the twist. For this, you have to ground the feet a lot. Rounding the arm, trying to make it as curvy as possible. I am trying to engage my spiral connectivity through the sleeve of muscular and uh, my fascial tissue, which holds the bones together. Specifically, I'd like to almost mend the points of weaknesses with the bones sticking out. That's the elbow for sure, the wrist, and the shoulder, I want to stretch through them. I don't want them to keep sticking. So keep rounding, beautiful job. So we're making inward circle. We're stirring something in the pot with a very loose arm, very loose dangling one. And when we reverse, it will become beauty looks in the mirror, but the still belly twists. It's a continual spinal twist in Tai Chi. Uh, my master, Louis Peleus, uh, summed it down better than any other master I've studied with. Uh, the Tai Chi is, everything in Tai Chi is body weight shift and waist twist. Body weight shift or the waist twist. So right now we're doing the waist twist. And we will start doing one and the other. One, two, one, two, one, 
two, one, two. Still powering this movement from the hips. One, two. Don't forget about relaxation at the end of the move. I know we very much attached to that lift, 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 but don't forget about that release. And it's not like, um, it's hard, of course, because we, we have to, we have to uh, release from our analytical grasp because I will start thinking about this space. I will start tensing up there, right? So you would want to just uh, keep remembering being soft. Excellent job. Can we reverse it? Yes, we can. So it's still beauty. So this one is not really beauty looks in the mirror. It's more like washing face, but it is, turns out to be a block, which if you catch the opponent's fist, your energy coming from the outside going down, so you're blocking something which potentially goes into your center. So you have a potential of blocking it down, which is useful. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Notice the arms could always get more relaxed. Uh, tai Chi reminds us that everything is practical. So if I want to block down and come in force, I better be relaxed. If something coming and I'm coming onto it, I will get double power back into me, which I don't want. I just want to continue and maybe reciprocate with, so I want to defend and attack. Excellent job, inhale and start softly pumping the energy ball in front of you. So notice I almost draw that heart sign. Mm -hmm. So we're going to expand out of the both long lobe and let the arms drape down more towards the center, more outwards and towards the center. Inhale outwards towards the center. Inhale, the movement becomes more horizontal. Inhale, chest lifts up and opens, and arms going forward. Inhale, chest lifts up, it's a little bit of a back bend for those of you who are taking my stretch classes. Inhale, and move forward, and pull, chest lifts, opening, it's a back bend, very nice. Inhale one more time. Excellent job. The legs keep pumping, right? Inhale, chest opens, 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 and you're pulling the arms back. Very nice. One more time. Inhale. Excellent. So the long line starts from, I have this short, so, and uh, this is the indicator of, of basically how the pecs lightly go into all of my shoulder epaulette. So uh, around this area, so this is my clavicle. Around this area, hook in there. So it's like about uh, first, second rib. There would be a tender spot, long two, and long, long one is here. So poke, poke, poke around this area. And this is actually good for the lungs to get the attention from us. So this is the beginning of the lung channel and it comes on the inner arm and goes out of the thumb nail. Put your mind into it. And right now we're going to palpate it with the intention, I want to release the energy from the lungs, lungs filtering the body's toxins. Right now, we're not getting outside that much today. It's raining, uh, doubtfully that we're going to get that much of the fresh air, but we would like to, for our lungs to keep ventilating and pumping. So let's give them some love and support, right? So we start from 
that spot, you could dig the fingers in there, but after that, you're just going to glide the fingers. The arm is, your arm is relaxed, my a little bit tense because I want to bring it to you for you to understand what's going on. So um, uh, let's relax them both. So we're going to just glide, 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 and come out of the thumb and pull on the thumb a little bit, bypass the thumb's nail and just release out. One more time from the one point. So you dig the fingers and, and in between the ribs, that would be the spot. Inhale and on the exhale, lead, 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 lead. And uh, we're creating the movement in the lungs and simultaneously removing the lymph if the movement is soft enough. Inhale. And on the exhale, going to glide, 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 all the way to the thumbnail. Very nice. One more time from the lawn. Dig, dig, dig. You could even vibrate there a little bit. You could inhale there while you're vibrating and exhale. Soften the fingers, we'll dig deeper a little bit. Uh, again, moderate. It's not about how much pain you ins inserting into you, it's how we finding something which needs attention and we could release it by that vibration and softly release, beautiful, and embrace the thumb and pull. The other side, vibrate, vibrate, vibrate. Inhale and softly, 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 softly releasing in the arm and pull out of the thumb. Vibrate. Inhale and softly, softly, softly release out of the thumb. Vibrate. Inhale and softly, softly, softly release. Pull it out. Fantastic. Now we're going to get into the legs a little bit more. So uh, the channels of the bottom organs liver, kidneys, and spleen coming from the big toe. So the big toe, we just imagining a loop under it. So those of you who do yoga, yoga tola actually relates to this. So on one side of the thumb, there is a liver channel. On the other side of the thumb, it is a spleen channel. So what we right now would like to do, we'd like to palpate through that and um, that would be going to get all the way down touch simultaneously outside and inside of the thumb and then just switch to the inside and you're going to move the fingers you just pat the legs but you're staying in parallel you're pulling yourself up and the palms are gliding by the inner crease of the legs and through the hip crease. And then from here, you're going to keep moving, moving, moving right under the breast. So I'm still touching, but with the other part of the wrist. One more time. So first, you're giving a little bit of a squeeze to the nut of the thumb, like this. Squeeze. And in the line, and you're pulling yourself up, 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 very nice hip crease up the wrists under the breast, and release. Soft bend, going again from the thumb, and pulling in the line, in the calf, in the thigh, pull, 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 over the crease under the breast. Switch to the line. In here, it's doubtfully that we could touch both. So we will use our mind. We will just expand and put our mind into releasing out of the thumb. And then we just roll in the arms in and the body softens towards the ground. Mm -hmm. So do it again. 
we will start manually from the thumb, give it a little bit more love in here, then switch to the inner line, in the calves, in the thighs. Inhale, keep going up the breast, and then switch to the long one, and expand from there with the release. And then inhale, bring it back, and you're settling, 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 settling. The back is long, like you're sitting on an invisible chair, right? One more time with the manual touch from the neck of the thumb. Press down slowly, pull, 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 in the crease up to the breast and out and pulling and softly release. Fabulous job. Now we're going to get into the color therapy. So the inner line on the bottom is green. We're going to visualize green line. You could still bend and touch. You don't have to. You could just imagine that. This line is white. This line is green. And then you kind of jump up to this point and then you shiny radiating the white light to the sides and then you just recoiling back into the center. Inhale. Exhale, softly release the knees, settle down, inhale, set your mind on uh, doing your health better. Inhale, into the ground, deep, 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 exhale, 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 from the ground, up the thumb, you pulling, pulling, pulling through the big toe, green loops, Round them up and pull them from the ankle into the inner crease of the calf, into the side, mentally pulling the inhale with that pelvic floor bypass through the inner crease of the hips, up, up, up of the ribs, and almost up to the breast. Transition to this line and expand the arms, thinking about shiny white line coming through each of them and slowly, slowly, slowly recoil. The arms doing a little bit of the movement before they expand, so they also almost subtitling that line from the ground. Inhale, exhale, get together with the ground, softly release and start inhaling, pulling and coloring. Inhale, the green over the big toe neck and pull calves in the thighs, pelvic floor, hip crease, ribs, and under the breast, and switching to the white light. Exhale, 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 out of the thumbnail, and we coil in, and slowly, slowly, slowly release and settle. Will you be able to trace that green light into the white light? Let's try again. And press down, inhale, soft, 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 getting the softness in the body, but getting the concentration into the analytical mind at this point. So you're going to use it and strongly keep moving the breathing along the particular points. That's Qigong. And inhale, exhale, energy work. You inhaling through the big toe, necks, and pulling the inhale through the in the calf, in the thigh, pelvic crease, through the diaphragm, up the ribs, up to the breast, and then the white light comes out of the front of the shoulder, all through the in the arm, and comes out, shines brightly into the outside. Inhale, we coil one last one. Inhale from the ground, we pulling the green light, juicy energy comes up, 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 like we are the tree, all into our trunk, and then it is releasing the long energy out to the side, vibrating our body in and out. Fantastic job. Inhale, settle a little bit. The neck is long, and the head is floating up like a balloon. Great. So we're getting into the feet. We're going to um, go from the 
squat, to heel, to bull, to lift, to land, to lunge, to pull back, and center, up, bend down, heel, bull, lift, heel, land, lunge, pull back, pull the leg, and together, and, I, I don't think that it makes sense, I'll keep the direction, so we're going to, again, bend, and heel, bowl, lift, heel, lunge, pull back, leg back, up, sink, Heel, ball, lift, tap down, heel, lunge, pull back, pull up, Just and now, heel, ball, lift, tap, heel, lunge, pull back with the leg, and up. Sink down to step. Cat stance on the wall. Rise up belly button in. Heel down on the full body weight shift forward. Pull with the belly back. Leg complies. We up. Down. Step on the heel. Roll on the wall. Outweigh the leg. Land on the heel. Shift the body weight forward. Pull back together with the legs straight, last one on the side, one, and heel, and pull, and lift, and heel, and without bobbing, shift, and shift back, and pull in, and lengthen, the other leg, we're going to sit, and heel, and pull, and lift, and heel, and shift, pull back with the leg, get up, get down to step on the ball, lift up, land, heel, shift, shift, pull, up, down, step, ball, it's a calf stance, lift, and you could do on the heel right away and shift. Shift back, pull up, down, heel, pull, lift, tap, heel, on it, off of it, pull up. So the shift was good. Mm -hmm. So you're going to right now add a little bit more of the arm movement. So if we just let the arms move like this, body weight shifts, and back leg has to move, and the belly has to move. The belly has to pull us back. Back leg pushes, belly pulls. The torso, notice my torso is tentatively straight, so I would like to get a little bit more of the rounding action into it. And I would like to get this action forward with the empty fists. So notice my arms can, uh, completely rotated out of the shoulder joints, completely rolled in. I played with all of the musculature and the um, connective tissue engagement of the arms. So this is the movement. I'm rounding my back. And that consists of what we already did, right? So we stir the pot with those movements, right? We did that. Mm -hmm. So nothing new, so we're progressing. We're going to get into pull and form two empty fists. And release 
you could even contact your thighs and bypass them, slapping them a little bit, palms are up fish. But everything changes continuously, forming the empty fists. And we're meeting somewhere at the level of your rolling ears. The move is called wind through his ears. He's meaning your opponent. So it is this action. And then we're pulling back. Back leg pushes us, belly pulls us back. Back leg pushes, belly pulls. 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 Five, four, three, two, one step together the other direction. So going to get with the other leg in the front. And one. So you're doing a little bit more than five on this one. We only calculated five. So push. Push. Mm -hmm. Push and pull. And push and pull. The more you find the engagement of the legs, the more you're winning in today's class because after all, sitting in um, at home definitely doesn't let us move the muscular structure and the bone structure, which is much more important than the muscular. So we're loading the bones to send us forward and pulling back. Inhale, step up, and release. Fantastic. So we are um, on with the schedule with this. We're going to recoil, um, refresh what we did last week with the cloud hands. Remember when we have the ball and transfer it from my 45 to 45. And I have that ball quite close to me. To so inhale, expand, exhale, contract. Both arms moving because you're inhaling and exhaling, expand. Softly release, expand, softly release, expand. And stationary right now, I'm going to expand not only up and down, but to the left and to the right. And body likes to move in circle. If you suggest the circular spherical move right here, likely if you release and wouldn't lead the body, the body will finish the curve because we all have curvy spherical parts. The ends of the bones are curvy and the and the sockets are curvy so we're going to inhale expand leave the body for the spherical movement and then ride the exhale ride it ride it for the full relaxation so this is a combination of you becoming uh, an amoebic creature so you're leading strongly and then you're going Inhale, expand. It's it's strong upward movement, and then you softly like water through the soil, soaking in. Inhale, expand, and compress. Feel the energy in between the palms, and by by just saying this, I mean put your mind into it. Try to find the energy in between the palms. Maybe on the rainyish day, it's not um, so easy. On the other hand, low clouds are always good for meditation. So I'm going to rub the palms. Create some heat, create some connectivity and feel one way from the other. And Pump, pump, pump. 
inhale, expand that big sphere. I feel the zoom in between the palms. If you don't make your sphere smaller, or if you feel a lot of them, zoom, why not? Then you're just going to expand it bigger. Also, I was watching the video from the last week classes, and I would like to show you. So I am going for a big expansion, big expansion. And that involves the rotation of the arm. I'm again, remember, so Tai Chi is Tai Chi and it's all good, but we do need to be the healthiest, more able body people, right? So sphere is good, but the fact that I could get my arm in the full engagement with the upper body and the full rotation in the shoulder socket, that's the most paramount for me. There are some Tai Chi forms which are doing it very small, and there is a purpose in there for martial practices. So in... Um, a real fight, you would not be going really spectacular, uh, like with all the full extension, like ballet. So it's most likely just a small movement. And um, uh, in uh, Yang Tai Chi, Yang Tai Chi is used for therapeutics rather than Chan, for example. Uh, so uh, that's the movements are bigger for the reason that you would want to also engage all the only therapeutics of the therapeutics come from the range of motion around the circle in here try to give your whole arm engagement over that curve mm -hmm. um, so this is small for you to feel the connection. And then you challenge this connection and right away take it a little bit more in the front and a little bit more out and then you're settling in. Notice it's still a distance in here for our purpose, for the purpose of engaging the arms and let them be buoyant, let them be afloat for the lung health across the genders, for the breast health for the ladies very important for the lymph pumping under the armpits very very important inhale body twists and settles compress inhale returning towards the upper palm belly continues turning towards the center welcomes the new upper palm inhale i part with that upper palm I go through the center and I welcome the new upper palm. In the meantime, the sphere rolls big. I want for you to feel some engagement of the arms into the shoulders. This is very, very, very important for our health. We underdoing this. I, I, I see so many students and clients and just across them, I'm yet to see a person who really has the healthy upper body in the sense that it's both strong and supple. Strong and stiff, yes, a lot. And they come to me uh, to clear the injuries or just weak. So those two, ubiquitous. Everything else, what we're looking for, we're looking for somewhere in the middle that you're strong but you're not stiff, you're flexible. So from here, find in that simple, rather comprehensible movement, right? So you got it, this is a sphere revolving, but there is also a point when um, there is you on top, with this arm on top of that sphere, and the chest is proud, this one is holding, so this is still a rounded posture. Yes. Mm -hmm. And reverse it. Compress, pull, and pull in. Expand and pull in, close, and get some more contact. Very, very nice. Compress. Very good. So we're going into our 
cloud hands with this sensation. For cloud hands, the feature is that your arms are in the front, more in the front. We're switching our sphere. Because the switch is so quick, we're not really opening them that much. We're just keeping, keeping the spiral in the length of the arm. The previous move, when we were opening the sphere, was more for the underarms engagement and continuous hydration of the arm. This one is to engage the full sleeve of the arm. There is still a rotation in here. There is still a change. It's just slightly different angle, right? So we're going to go into the sinking action. Belly twists and pull in. I sink you on your right, and then the left is floating. I twist the belly to shift 45 degrees only. I welcome the body weight on the left, you on the left side. You sink your left leg and the palm. And belly twists, and then it makes possible to pull the leg in. Give me two flips, one and two, and your left is sinking, the right is twisting, we're shifting on to the right, we're going to make the right heavy, and you pull to the left. Left becomes heavy, we're making another step, twisting and shifting and committing to that way. Very nice, stay stationary. We're changing. We're going to be heavy on the right, left floats, belly twists, heavy on the left, right pulls in, drop, squeeze the leg out, shift onto it, press down and pull in, stay stationary, one flip, and right away, press down, squeeze, and flip belly twist to the center, compress, twist leg floats, switch, and stay stationary, one, and compress along your right, and float your left, and twist, stay low, stay heavy on the legs, and going to squeeze, shift, and pull, stay stationary, and change the direction. One, flip, pull, right away, compress, step out, flip, pull, stay stationary, and we squeezing the leg. Step number one. Step number two, shift, stay, and flip, just change the direction. Step number one, one, shift. Completed. Step number two, one, shift the body weight. Completed. Twist and change the direction. Step number one. And completed. Step number two. Completed and change the direction. Press one belly twist. Completed. One. Completed and change the direction. Press arms. Twist. Arms twist stationary with me, change the direction. Belly twists, belly twists, belly twists, belly twists, stationary, change the direction. And step one, step, shift two, change, compress, step one, and step. Two, release, very good. So what other exercise keeps the arms that will want to flow on the heart and the lung level, making them pump? No other, only Tai Chi. Inhale into full structure. So we're repeating our circular combination, which I hope you will learn and you will take with yourself into the park or just do it at home because it's more logical than the whole sequence. Well, we'll start with this. So we're going to pump, open the sphere, make it into frisbee. Belly twists, you open from underneath, throwing the frisbee. Come back, rolling up the shield. 
with the shield, come back and smoothly rotate the palms, compress, and they repel immediately. And the arm which went upward goes down and we spiral. This is a protective posture. We unspiral that upward arm, goes up and topples down. And then we opening the central, like the white crane with the beautiful wings. So we brush the face before two blocks. Inhale, we sunk in down before we warmed up for this. We're going to spring forward. This palm delivers the power from the leg, the hip, and the whole the side. Inhale, step up, softly release. The other palm on top, compress, compress. Flip the sphere, sit right away, belly twist, throwing the frisbee, right away, turning the frisbee into the shield, right away, back to center. Inhale, expand, upper arm, spirals, and whole torso is defensive. We reversing that upper arm, goes down, dives down, they meet, and they open, white crane, right away, close, close, momentarily open and deliver that brush knee. Inhale, soft, 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 releasing the pelvic floor, vibrating the arms, all good. Now we're going to try and do what we have in the choreography. So the choreography, uh, every choreography of Tai Chi starts with gaining your composure, settling the breathing and the energy down at the bottom. So we're going to take a breath there. The palms are on the hip crease. The knees are soft. The head floats up like a balloon. I should see the clear definition between the uh, jawline and the shoulders. Inhale and exhale. Stay facing where you face. Inhale. And I move the pelvis to move the arm. Stay facing where you face. Inhale, grass gracing the Buddha's ears. The palms are landing a little bit higher than before and you're building up that space around you. Your right arm goes in the front. You're bracing it with the left. So it's a push and pull. You're rounding the back and you're extending, but you still have this some sort of softness in there. You're swiveling to your right, and then you're going to peel the palm, and in relationship to this back arm, the leg passes by. Sit down, and you're going to roll in. All of you rolling in, have the toes, Settle, compress, swivel. We rolling out into a frisbee. And then we coming back and flipping the frisbee on top. Now the elbow became dangerous. We're going to get into our twisted step power from the back foot. Back foot pushes and my elbow ends up a little bit behind me. I still hold the ball, that's what holds me together and I brush and kick, and I sink, I tap, and I pull belly button in, come through the center very briefly, because I, my agenda is to address the other side, I roll the shield. Inhale, I make my best soft effort to drop the elbows, but the wrists are reacting to this. I pull a little bit back behind, and belly twists and pulls, pass by me. Patricia's arm, this is a beautiful eagle rotation in the shoulder. We already did that uh, strike um, going through his ear, so that same thing. So we're going to round it up, and with this, brace this palm. Now they connect it. Back leg delivers the blow, and I'm going to expand the chest because the chest is also participating. Next move is dropping, then coming attack. And we hope the opponent is following that direction. He's dropping somewhere. And we are there to push. 
Now swivel from there on the heel. It's a small circle. Here we have one cloud hand. Inhale, flip. So it's just like one, one, uh, one round only. And then we're going to pull into the diagonal and forward pull the feet. And that pull balance with this push. So this one protects the armpit. I'm in balance if I commit to this as a key, I reach and then I drop the shoulder down. And this one is in front of the armpit, but it's also, it's also ready to pull. Right now, I'm going to step and open the whole left side. So I'm opening this outside of the arm. I slap. Notice what happens with the breath. The breath expanded itself, expanded uh, on that slap. I want to take more. I inhale, whole body goes up. But that's not a solid structure. Solid structure will happen when I release. That's the single whip. This is the cardiac moment of Tai Chi. So we're going to step in that direction and release. Mm -hmm. Whatever happens, so you're going to just flow through this. Just flow this next repetition with me. So it doesn't matter. Nobody does it perfect ever. There is nothing perfect in life. And right now our goal is just try to kind of like figure out if the body will find the missing links. It's always substitute, it's always modified. So just flow with this, let the body flow. Press. Head floats up like the balloon. The energy settles in that hand. The knees are soft. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Next exhale, start Tai Chi, belly button pulls in, arms floating forward, chest expands, inhale, exhale softly down, and the shield expands, right in front, left braces, we're going to get into the first kick and balance, we're going to reach and return back center, and heel again. Come back on top, twisted step with the elbow, kick and strike, tap, and we're rolling into the shield. Inhale, elbows dropping, we're going to twist the belly a little bit behind and then pull the opponent across. Beautiful crane wing, tops and pushes, chest opens, arms opening. And we drop the opponent's response and we follow with the push. We're swiveling the wrists and the heel back center. Inhale, half of the cloud hands, one belly twists. Belly twists to the other side. Simultaneously, the arm reaches into hook, protects the armpit. Inhale, sit, open, slap. Inhale is needed by the body. The exhale sets us up back into the solid posture. And it's probably a final push where we're not really doing that strong push in Tai Chi. So it will be this. And inhale, soft, 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 soft. Long, 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 long. One more time. Just like this. Let me see. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're good. Inhale, glance through the top of the head. Exhale, soft. Inhale, start Tai Chi. Pelvis goes back. Arms going forward. Chest inflates and arms gracing Buddha's ears. Soft down on the level of the pelvis. Expand right in the front. Left braces it. Everything turns 45 degrees. We're peeling the palms and we kicking with the leg tap and sink and to the other side. Peel, 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 kick, 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 tap. We're going back again into that same direction from the back leg and kick again. Tap. 
roll the shield to the other side. Twist the belly a little bit, hook under his elbow, pull him across, release the palm, strike, drop the incoming force, and return it. Swivel on the heel with the wrist, up, down, hollow the cloud hands one, and we hooking and protecting the armpit. Sink being sunken will give you the power to step and slap simultaneously. Boom. Inhale, exhale, very good. And on um, down, okay. and round, round, round yourself, yes. round yourself, round yourself. I think we did a great class. What do you think? Terrific. Thank you. Thank you.